Hey everyone, welcome back, and this is my review of Kami Ga Kill, episode 21. So yeah, a lot of people are going to be bitching about this episode, but you know what, I'm not, and I'm a manga reader. Imagine that. I'm not going to be bitching about this episode, and I'm a manga reader. Because guess what, I'm okay with anime-only endings as long as they're good. I really am. Like, the original 2003 series FMA was, had an anime-only entire second fucking half. And nobody bitched about it, now did they? No, the series is still a masterpiece. That puts other masterpieces to fucking shame, okay? So, that being said, on to this episode. You know, now, now I've told you exactly why anime-only endings are not a bad thing. On to this episode. I'm not sure if the uh, n next chapter, if this month's chapter is out. you have to check right after I'm done recording this. But, yeah. On to this episode, though. I thought it was good. I did. Uh, there were some things I was disappointed in, okay? First off, I really wish they would have taken time to show the uh, conversation between B Budo and Tatsumi. Because that's when we kind of got clued into the fact that Budo and, and uh, Ezdeath were going to be fighting later on in the series, probably. Which is, like, the most epic fucking matchup ever, okay? <laughs> um, so, yeah. And also, Budo was defeated. Like, I'm really kind of disappointed in that, slightly. Okay, because he's a bona fide badass, and that's being nice with it. So I'm kind of disappointed that he was defeated so soon. Uh, is there anything else I'm disappointed with? No, not really. Like, I don't think... Uh, I don't think... That... Uh, uh, Mine is dead yet in the manga, but I really don't care. She died, supposedly, at the end of this episode. But it was a really good death, okay? It really was. It was really sad, okay? Because she became... One of my favorite characters in the series, easily. And it was a really sad way for her to go, okay? And that kiss was like, damn. Oh, the feels, the feels are strong here, okay? Also, the fight between uh, Esdeath and, or the, the scene where Esdeath fights uh, uh, Najinda and Susano. That fight was so fucking awesome. As that freezes time and fucking space. She freezes time and fucking space. Uh, I mean, I know her she, her power is ice basically freezing, but... God damn it. That's like... Dude. Dude. She freezes time and fucking space. Okay, the most badass ability and most overpowered ability, too, in this entire goddamn series so far. Like, seriously. And, of course, Susano dies. I did think his death was better in the manga, but that doesn't mean it's bad in the anime, okay? Because I don't like to compare stuff to the source material. That's not the purpose. But I think I've ranted on that enough. And, you know, I'm considering making an entire video dedicated to that in the future. I get time. But any to but anyways though, so yeah. So overall, I thought this was a really good episode. Okay, um, let's see here what else. Uh, As death, still pretending that she's in love with Tatsumi instead. Inst which instead we all know she just wanted his fucking D. Okay, uh, let's be honest now. She's a fucking sadist. Okay. Like, god damn it. She is the S character. And she was hoping that he would be the M character. That's kind of what as death is. I'm sorry, but it's the fucking truth, okay? I'm not saying I don't like her, but still. So overall, I thought this was a really good episode. As a manga reader, I thought this was a really good episode. I have to keep stressing that I'm a manga reader, so people will get it through the thick fucking skulls that there's actually a manga reader out there that doesn't care or that thinks that anime only endings aren't always that bad 
it is a little bit fast paced, yes. I'm going to admit that. It is a little bit fast paced. There are things I wish they put in there that they didn't. This in in terms of this ending. But overall I think it's pretty good. Alright, the the drama's really good, the fight scenes are really good, the animation's really good. Oh my fucking god, that animation. The music's really good, the art's really good. For the most part, it's really good. There are some issues I have with this episode, but I still really liked it, okay? Um, so, so, supposedly the mission's over, you know, even though it has, I don't think it's been that long since I've read this part in the manga, I really don't remember what's supposed to happen next. Like, I don't remember if this is actually the end of this arc. Because they skipped over the entirety of the Wild Hunt arc. I don't remember if this is the end of this arc, or... If there's actually more to it. I honestly don't remember. But anyways, so... Um, if you have yet to see this week's episode of Comedy Got Killed, then I recommend it. As a manga reader, yes, I'm going to keep stressing that. Uh, I can't wait for next week's episode. Series only has three episodes left, right? It's coming to a close. Fast. <laughs> okay, I can't believe that it's so close to ending, though. Um, but anyways, overall, hope you enjoyed this review, guys. See you after, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.